Welcome to Studio Biology. In this video, I am going to discuss the epidermal tissue system. If we take the cross section of a stem of a plant, then we can observe three types of tissue systems. First one is vascular tissue system in the center. Then in the periphery, there is epidermal tissue system and in between there is ground tissue system. So in this video, we are going to discuss the epidermal tissue system. Epidermal tissue system is outermost continuous layer of elongated compactly arranged cells. These are the compactly arranged cells. Usually single layer of parenchymatous cells covered by a waxy thick layer of cuticle is there. So cuticle is present over the cells. Then cuticle is absent in roots. In roots there is epidermal tissue system but it is not covered by cuticle. Root epidermis is also known as piliferous layer because it bears the root hairs. Cuticle may be reinforced by the wax in extremely dry conditions to reduce the loss of water from the cell. Then epidermal cell. The epidermal cell represents a parenchymatous cell with little cytoplasm towards periphery and is having a large vacuole. In addition, there are stomatal apertures or stomatal apparatus in the epidermis which are scattered. It is having two major type of cells. First one is guard cell. Another one is subsidiary cells. Guard cells are two in number and enclosing an opening for gaseous exchange which is known as stoma or stomata. Bean shaped in dicots and dumbbell shaped in monocots. So we can observe that such guard cells are found in dicots and such type of guard cells are found in monocots. These are dumbbell shaped. These are bean shaped. Inner wall are thick while the outer walls are thin. The wall facing the stoma or the cavity are basically thicker in comparison to the outer wall. Then these possess chloroplast and regulate the opening and closing of the stomata. While the subsidiary cells which are around the guard cells. So these are specialized epidermal cells surrounding the guard cells. Then hair like structures may arise from the epidermis. These hair like structures represent root hair or in a stem these are termed as trichomes. Root hairs are unicellular and main function is absorption of water and minerals while trichomes are usually multicellular and the main function is prevention of water loss due to transpiration and secretory actions are also there in case of trichomes. So this is all about the epidermal tissue system in a dicot stem. Thanks for watching this video.